good morning. This is Matthew Hoffman with another episode of Do-It-Yourself Airstream. Today we're going to be talking about polishing. Uh, first thing we're going to talk about are the tools that you need to polish an aluminum trailer. Um, you can see here in front of me I have several two different types of tools. I'll discuss each one of them, their purpose, but this is basically what you're going to need to polish a, a nice trailer to get it looking something like this. Uh, this has a little bit of dirt and dust on it, but it's a mirror shine. Okay, let's let's start here. This is a variable speed rotary polisher buffing wheel, and this goes from uh, about 600 RPMs all the way up to 3,000 RPMs. Uh, this you can get at your local home improvement center, Home Depot, um, pretty easily obtained for a couple hundred bucks. I recommend Makita, they're generally pretty good. DeWalt also makes a good one. Uh, you can also find some cheaper ones from companies like Harbor Freight. Uh, they'll be a lot less expensive, but you're probably going to suffer with, uh, uh, with the longevity of it. I'd recommend buying the warranty, the extended warranty if you go through them. Uh, the next thing you're going to need is some, these are wool buffing pads, you can see here. On the other side we got these from Vintage Trailer Supply. Uh, these are 100% wool, 4 ply, uh, inch and a half pile. And you got to make sure you get the twisted wool um, fiber itself. It looks kind of like carpet when you look into it, like a nice 70s shag carpet. Um, these things will probably run you about 7 to 14 bucks each, depending on where you get them. And uh, you're probably going to need to do one trailer anywhere from uh, three to five, five of these. You can go and you can go wash these at your local laundromat. Um, Make sure you soak them first. We'll talk all about that. This is a spur. Uh, this is when you're buffing. This guy actually goes on here. And as this fills up with polish, you take this guy to clean it off to um, bring the fibers out again so you can continue using a pad longer than, uh, than you would have otherwise. Okay, so that's the first couple stages of polishing. This is the actual polish that we use. Um, this is called Nuvite, uh, is the company that makes this. And this is called uh, New Shine 2. And there's three grades that we generally use when polishing a trailer. And those three grades are grade F9, and that's a compound for heavy corrosion and surface repair. So generally, this is the first step. The next step you'll use is called grade C. Uh, this is for oxidation, removal, and repolishing. Uh, that basically buffs it out to a mid-grade. And then the final step, the new shine finish, or the new vite finish, is called grade S. And that you actually use a different tool. In these two polishes, you use the rotary polisher. And the grade S, you actually use what's called the Cyclo Model 5. And that's this tool here. This is a very specific tool. You can't use it for much else besides polishing Airstream trailers. Um, it's a shiny, sexy tool. And uh, the, the concept here is that both of these heads uh, rotate independently of one another. You can see there. And this creates a completely random orbital uh, movement. So you have uh, no swirl marks. This gets out all of the very light scratches and swirl marks that uh, grade grade S, or no, grade C, would have uh, provided with from this type of pad. Uh, so this is the last step, and with this, you generally take what we use is 100% 100% cotton cloth, and you got to make sure it's 100% cotton, and what we generally do is just put it over the polisher like this, turn it on, and we'll go into detail about how to use that tool. So these are the tools that you'll need. Um, cyclo random orbital polisher, 100% cotton. This is a sheet, by the way, just a bed sheet. Uh, you have your new bite polish, you have your uh, rotary polisher, and you have a spur. Um, I would not recommend wearing a white shirt like I am today. Um, you're going to get a, pretty dirty doing this, uh, but it's a lot of fun. It takes a lot of patience, and um, we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks.